You know, there's a fetish about men buying a car. Why do you buy a car? Why do you like, why guys like cars? And why, you know, certain cars, you know, we all get so, you know, picky and there's this fetish about things, you know, and I like that close to be, you know, a, an element of a fetish. Okay, I'm Francisco Costa. I'm the creative director for Calvin Klein Women's Collection. And uh, what do I do? I'm a designer, you know, uh, I love to design. I, I believe it also, I'm a little bit of an artist. I think I have a little of an artist in me and I like that to, I like to express that, you know, quite a lot uh, in, in many different areas and ways. So, um, um, yeah. <laughs> I grew up in an environment um, which was very, very simple, I mean, very, very easy, you know. We had very uh, serious work ethics at home because my mother had this company, a uh, children's wear manufacturer, and uh, we, all of us, you know, had to come from school and go to the factory and, and work. You know, we had to do our homework at, at the factory, and it was, it, it was a, a huge uh, um, community. I mean, she helped so many people, so many women. It was all about women coming to work, you know, and, and it had a very social structure behind it. Um, adjacent to, to, the, to, the, to the factory, she had also a home for, um, you know, for the children uh, uh, to come, where the mothers would be working and the children would be taken care of. So she had very much, she was very strong in my life and that's how I grew up. I came to New York in 1986 and uh, it was an amazing time for New York. It was an amazing time for me. I was so uh, free. And uh, I mean, there was a certain freedom in the city, which was so incredible, ex incredibly exciting. Um, you know, uh, there was so much happening. Obviously, because I was very young then, too. So I got to explore a lot. I got to, to live a lot that, you know, that time. There's something about also your sexuality that I discovered here then. You know, I arrived in New York City in 1986. You know, I didn't know. Uh, um, you know, it was the first gay pride, uh, you know, I, I experienced, you know, um, I became quite an activist with ACT UP, you know, there was all those things happening. And then I just kind of lived a little bit, you know, the whole sort of uh, a sense exploring. So it was really, really incredible. I think I like people to look at, you know, what I do and think, you know, there's a sense of evolution, you know, um, um, uh, a sense of, you know, um, interest for you know uh, you know an aspect of, of design which is which is which is I find you know valued um, listen I'm, I'm a mix of so many different influences you know I'm Brazilian you know uh, I'm Brazilian I have you know this experience of, of a couture house which is Balmain and Oscar you know I know the tremendous sports red designer which is Tom you know and and you know I, my influences are so many, and, and when it comes to, to Calvin, when you think the perfection of his world, you know, the way he, he promoted himself, the way he marketed himself, you know, the visualness, you know, the sexiness, you know, the sharpness, it's overwhelming. So I think what I did right in the beginning, consciously, I decided to emphasize product. And the fact is, you know, that's, that's the state of the business. You know, you have to, to, um, to be really fast, you know, and you have to hit in the ground, you know, uh, before anybody else. And that, that brings me back to uh, the celebrity world, for instance. You know, when we, uh, right at the beginning, started to dress in celebrities, you know, I was heavily criticized. You know, I was, I don't, I don't think it was really truly understood, you know, that there was a plan behind it. You know, so people looked at it, it was frivolous, you know, Calvin never dressed celebrities, what, what's this brand becoming? You know, and it's all a little bit of BS because you know, Calvin actually started with the whole trend. You know, Brooke Shields. I mean, he started with that. You know, he exploded much before anybody else. So um, we're not doing anything new here. You know, we are just also following some sort of the legacy. Of course, we're doing it a different way. You know, red carpet is business. You know, it translates into numbers. We as, uh, I don't know, as designers, you know, um, you know, we traveled so much faster. We used to have, you know, two collections a year, then became, you know, four collections a year. Now I do eight collections a year. You know, why? Right? I mean, the stores are saturated. Retail cannot support that. I mean, it's just insane. Our calendars are so screwed up, so wrong. Why? We have to reverse everything. 
that's something that we really have to get together and, and, and make it seriously, you know, we all should look at it because it's not working. You know, it's, it could work, um, you know, you work when you when you're a retailer, of course. I mean, when you when you're vertical, you know, like Zara is, and they started the whole crazy trend, you know. Um, but for young designers, I find that that to be you know the most, you know, distorted and perverted thing, you know, because nobody want to buy also your clothes full price, you know. So we just trained, you know, the the whole world, you know, to not to respect actually the product. You know, which is really crazy. It's not just the web, it's just the way we're communicating, just the way we're approaching. And I'm, I'm just repeating myself here. I'm sure you heard that so many times, I don't need to tell you that because you really know that. But it's this narcissistic way of living, you know, that, you know, it's so fast. You have to be looking at yourself. You have to be looking at a camera. You have to be looking, you know, at yourself online. You have to be communicating now. I mean, it's just a new, a whole new world and that, you know, as much as I find it slightly tormented because I don't have a time to rest and to breathe, you know, I find that terribly exciting. You know, relaxation, I think it's very um, um, subjective uh, because I relax by doing things. You know, I have to be on my days off, I have to be cooking. I have to be switching the furniture around. You know, I have to be gardening, you know. Uh, I have to be walking around the streets, I have to be going to galleries. That's how I relax, unfortunately. Um, I mean, fortunately. <laughs> I, I don't enjoy much sleeping, you know. Um, um, I, f I don't know, it's, it's just a natural thing, you know. I, I wake up really early, you know. Um, I don't go to bed very late at night either anymore. I mean, I used to do, you know, but um, I think, you know, if it wasn't for the physicalness of having to sleep, it's such a waste of time.